So people say no one cares what you know until they know how much you care. Today I have the honor to introduce you to Chris Bailey. I've never met anyone who knows more or cares more about the health and well-being of their friends and family. Chris is a Barisha International Representative and his goal is to help you live your life to your fullest potential. Chris worked in the corporate world for over 20 years and never really felt passionate about what he did. He comes from an athletic family, has been athletic all of his life. He played football in college and always loved anything that had to do with sports. So when he was approached by Barisha, he felt that he finally found his passion and he now brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to helping people reach their goals and overcome their challenges. I respect how much he knows, but I love how much he cares. Please help me welcome today's speaker, Chris Bailey. My name is Chris Bailey. And I was born in Morristown, New Jersey, Northwest New Jersey, uh, outside of the uh, 95 area where everyone sees most of New Jersey and thinks, how can we call the Garden State? Well, it truly is a Garden State where I grew up and lived there for 25 years. Morristown's also historically known as its role in the Revolutionary War following Washington's uh, momentous victories at the Battle of Trenton and Princeton that changed the complexity of the war and they retreated to the foothills of Morristown, New Jersey in the uh, winter to um, you know, rest for the winter. Um, I moved to Atlanta in 1985 where I began my career here and uh, shortly thereafter got married and moved to Charlotte where my daughter was born and lived there for 13 years and then returned here in Atlanta again in 2002 and have been here ever since. So now I'm going to give you a little photo op of my family and my background. So this is uh, our family of eight. I was one of eight children. I'm seated there uh, in the front there. You can see with my uh, pudgy face. And um, I was number seven of eight. And as you can see uh, what I was up against. You know, family of athletes, many swimmers. Uh, the one on top, Ellen, was an Olympics, uh, Olympic swimmer. Um, Mary Beth, who was seated holding my younger sister Jen, swam with Mark Spitz at Indiana. My brother swam at the University of Vermont and was captain of the swim team there. And uh, of course, I chose a different route. I, I hated swimming and um, <laughs> played, I chose uh, baseball and football. In my uh, Kodak moment in my little sailor outfit. And this is me pondering greatness in my sailor hat. And this is my seventh grade football picture. And I am pictured in the middle there, number 78. And as you can see, I have a full head of hair. School senior picture at uh, where well, I attended Morristown High School and uh, tri lettered in swimming, baseball, and football. And this is my freshman year in college. Uh, that's what a game face looks like if anybody <laughs> hasn't played football before. You know, in football you're never taught to smile. You have to have your game face on at all times. And this is my senior year. I uh, still have my game face on and sported a mustache. Uh, um, as a senior, I, uh, as an offensive tackle, I was all conference and also had a degree in biology at Gettysburg College. And also started losing his hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He keeps going up a number. Yeah. As you can see, the greatness is uh, in the making here. And uh, here are my parents, my mentors, and luckily also my idols. Um, my dad, uh, who passed away in 2006, uh, his, his legacy lives on through us. And uh, my mom uh, turned 93 in June and was just uh, uh, featured on ABC News in New York for a dance class that she's been teaching for 40 years with senior citizens, of whom she's the oldest in, in the class. And uh, this is my high school football coach, John Sharona. I was fortunate enough to have another mentor that was like a parent to me. Um, he, like my parents, believed in me uh, always when, when I didn't believe in myself. 
and highly successful. And then here are my wives. Uh, this is uh, Pan and Pincus, our dog featured with me. And this is my other wife. This is my daughter, Anne Francis, 22 years old. And um, that's what life's all about. So now, let's let the games begin. Pam is my uh, beautiful host and assistant. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out how knowledgeable you are about the foods that you eat and drink. And so your choices are eating or chucking. So the first up. Pineapple. Eat it. Eat it or chuck it? Eat yeah. it. Chuck it. Too much sugar. Too much, too much sugar. Too much sugar. Spice sugar. Nothing but sugar. All fruit. Peanut butter. Eat chuck it or chuck it? Chuck it. Chuck it. Eat, eat, it. It. Eat, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. That's pretty much sugar. Pine protein. Protein. Eat it. Potato. Eat it or chuck it? Chuck it. Chuck it. Table salt or sea salt. Eat it, it or chuck it. Chuck, chuck, it. chuck it. it. Sweet potato fries. Chuck eat it or chuck it. Chuck Sweet it. potato eat fries. It. Eat it. Chuck eat it. it. Sweet, it. Sweet potatoes. Not very juicy. Eat it or chuck it. Chuck it. Eat it. Eat it. Chuck it. Chuck it. Depends what. Too many preservatives. I'm doing very bad. Watermelon. Chuck it. Eat it or chuck it. Way too much sugar. Chuck it. Chuck it. Brown rice. Brown rice, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Chuck it. Chuck it. Chuck it. Oh, oh. 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 My first one. Bananas. Chuck it. Eat it or chuck it. Chuck it. Chuck it. Chuck it. Sugar. I'm going to stop this. Flour tortilla. Eat it or chuck it. Flour tortilla. Chuck it. Eat 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 it. Strawberries. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Chuck it. Eat it. Chuck it. Butter. Eat it. Eat it or chuck it. Chuck it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Soda. Chuck it. Diet soda even worse. Chuck it. Chuck it. Chewing gum. Diet chewing gum. Chuck it. Eat it. Chuck it. <laughs> Black eyed peas. Eat it. Eat it. Chuck it. Yeah. Fried chicken. Eat it or chuck it. Eat it. Fried chicken. Alright. Uh cheddar rice cake. Uh rice cakes. Garbage. Chuck it. Chuck it. Apple. Eat it. Alright. Avocado. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Water. Drink it. Yeah. Popcorn. Chuck it. Chuck it. All right. Bob. Bob Zartarian's coffee. Drink it or chuck it. Chuck it. Coffee. <laughs> Any other coffee? Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Folgers, Nescafe, decaf. Eat it. Drink it or chuck it. Chuck it. Chuck it. Chuck it. Depends what kind of coffee. Her, her coffee is great, by the way. What's that? Her coffee is great. So it's great, Chuck. Um, <laughs> Don't forget blueberry. So oh, yeah. That's Blueberries. Eat them. Blueberry. Eat, 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 eat it. Eat it. So, Chris, tell us why these foods can be consumed. These foods tell your body not to store fat, while these foods, drinks, gum, etc., all do. Very simple. Kill off the skin. So let Chris. No, you can eat. You can eat really? Yeah. So why is fried chicken? That's a good question. Yeah. So That's it's, it's, it's eating a combination of protein, carbohydrate, fat together. Is grilled chicken better? Is it going to be better? It, it's it's the same. It's the same. You you need to have fat whenever you eat a carb and a protein. Now you can't have a bucket of fried chicken, but you can have That's pizza. Right. <laughs> Serve it. Yeah. So does anybody have any questions? Oh, Jekyll's is time. back on the map. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I have a degree in biology. 
I played football in college. And um, what I noticed myself is, it's my turn period, I said, hmm, can't eat and do the things I did when I was 20. And then and I had to adjust my eating habits. And uh, if you ever read the book, Diets Don't Work, Diets Still Don't Work, if you want to, if you want to gain weight, you go on, go on a starvation diet and you'll gain weight. That's essentially what you do. So it, what we teach is, is eating the normal calories that are recommended for your body type. Because if you don't, then your body will adjust. Your body, your body and your brain are very smart. As a health coach, is that what you're? No. No, I have the science behind me, and I have a, a doctor who's, uh, who's science. She's tested foods for over 30 years. She, and part of our launch this past month is we'll be revealing the over 100,000 foods and what they do to your body based on your body type, but also based on how your brain deals with that food when you put it in your mouth. They call that brain glycemic indexing. And we're the only company that does that. So Chris, tell us about um, the fat burning coffee that's part of this program. So the, uh, Dr. Allen, the scientist behind it, developed a, a fat burning coffee fat burning tea for people who don't drink coffee and a, and a fat burning raspberry chocolate latte. She also has developed uh, sports performance products and tested them on the, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, Ronnie Cohen, Radio Mr. Universe, NHL players, football players, um, Olympic athletes, gold medals have, have been using Dr. Allen's um, products and her, her eating regimen. You know, many people are struggling with weight loss, and, and we see them all the time. And one of the things that people need help with is really putting the diet plan together. Specifically, what to eat. Is that something that you would be part of your services? You know, sitting down and helping with people, and even, you know, going as far as looking in their cabinets and pulling things out and helping them that way. Yeah, so we don't call it a diet. We, we call it eating strategically. We want you to eat the calories that, that your body's supposed to have, you know, and, and, we, and we, have, we base it on, on body types and also, you know, like there's an Oprah body type. No matter what Oprah ate, with all the money that she has, she couldn't lose weight. But recognizing that that's a, she's an endomorph and recognizing that she's a certain body type, we would be able to put together a formula for her to be successful. Really on this test, by the way. Way under <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fried chicken? Uh, no, right. A couple questions. With the fruit, is it just the sugar content that makes something not good? And it, that, it's what it does to your blood sugar. sugar. So yeah. all, all, everything that we do, our products, as well as our eating uh, um, strategically, is all about the only time you want your body to flatline is when you're flatlining your blood sugar. Because when you, fl when you flatline your blood sugar, you're able to resist and optimize your body at a high level, including uh, athletes. You know, the athletes that are, have performed well with Dr. Allen's plan had done so because they kept their blood sugar level. But it also gives you the ability to resist diseases. And as you can see around us, we have a serious obesity mm -hmm. and hence a, di a diabetes and obesity problem that are related. And all of our health problems can be traced to that. But a lot of it's been traced to the FDA allowing the food and beverage industry to add sugar and artificial sweeteners 30 years ago, and here we are with our problems today. Great, and the other question is, is there a, does Barisha offer like a list of things that are good and bad, or, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, in fact, we just released the, the coffee diet, and uh, uh, Dr. Allen actually worked with Dr. Atkins when he, and she was traveling around with him. And think of this as a more elaborate, more tested, more proven, uh, version of the Atkins diet called the coffee diet. Uh, I'm a coffee addict and I used to go to Starbucks three times a day, had to have my coffee and um, I started drinking the Barisha coffee and it's delicious. I mean it burns fat and I could drink it three times a day and not get jittery and it tastes good and I'm losing inches. So it's like a perfect combination. Well, that, yeah, that's another question. For those of us who, you know, are a little bit on the hyper side at times, <laughs> coffee's not the best thing that we yeah. should be drinking. Yeah, so you know. 
So, so we have, um, Scott has, uh, and I've used the same, it's called Codebreaker. It's a non-caffeine, um, and it goes after the fat a little differently than the fat burn coffee, which um, it, it blows up fat cells. But it also opens up your blood vessels, allows you to recover quickly from workouts, but it also burns fat and gets you at the point where you're burning fat as soon as you start working out. So Codebreaker is a, an alternative, it's a lemonade drink, and you can drink it either before workout or you can just drink it in the morning uh, to blow up fat cells, or you can drink it during the workout as a sports drink. But if you want coffee, you know, and, and you don't want the jitters, you're saying you don't get the jitters at all? No, because the caffeine is buffered. Do you want yeah. to explain and what you that can, means? And you can dilute it, you know, to your taste, because it is a very strong tasting coffee, yeah. so you can dilute it. To your taste. Explain what the buffered caffeine means. Buffered means that it, um, the, the, the coffees out there, it's um, wreck havoc with your body's metabolism. They disrupt your metabolism. They cause you to, to get hypoglycemic. It spikes your blood sugar. When you drink a cup of coffee, uh, it's the equivalent of eating five hot fudge sundaes. Okay, time for one more question. Do they have a coffee for the cure? For the what? The curate. The, the cake up? Yes. They got this. <laughs> Anyone else? We're good? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.